Hello my crafty friends, this is Mary and I am so happy and so excited to welcome you to the Cards TV Stamps Design Team Brew Ha Ha Stamp Release Blog Hop. Boy was that a mouthful. <laughs> no kidding guys, we are so super excited about this new stamp set and if you look right here it says Special Edition and the reason this is a special edition is because the wonderful, super talented Cards TV Stamps design team came up with lots of these sentiments on here. And I think they did a great job. These are really cute, fun sentiments. And I'm going to show you what they are real quickly because I'm going to do a little gift card for you in a minute. And I know you want to get on to the rest of the design team in this hop because let me tell you guys, they have got some awesome things to show you. Just the cutest things you ever saw. But let me go through the stamp set real quickly. We've got a little coffee cup up here. Then tea. Jab a nice day. That's the one I'm going to use today. What's percolating? You perk me up. One of life's little perks. Deja brew. The daily grind. My cup runneth over. Thanks a latte. Coffee tea time. What's brew with you? Been missing you. You mocha me happy. Brew ha ha. Tea for two, just me and you, and you're terrific. And these are going to be so much fun, guys. These go really, really well with the Cricut um, Love You a Latte cartridge as well. But ladies on the design team, you did an awesome job. Thanks so much. Now, I'm going to use Java Nice Day, and you'll see them using, the ladies on the design team, using lots of these other ones on their creations today. But I'm using that one. I'm also going to be using the Artiste cartridge. Love this. And I found the neatest thing in there, guys. Let me show you in the booklet. It's a gift card holder. There's a couple in here, but I like this one with the scalloped edge. It's on page 59, and I cut this at 5 inches. And here it is, all cut out, and it cuts, the Cricut cuts little notches where the score lines are. So, there's one right here. We're going to go ahead, fold this in half, and it practically folds itself. And this is the part where you're going to put your gift card. And I just so happen to have a Starbucks gift card here. So you can see right there, it's going to fit in there very nicely. Now this side is going to be the front of our card. So we're going to fold this up on this little line. And I'm going to take my bone folder and go down it and get a nice crease. And then this is the back of the card. So we're going to fold it up as well. Or I guess this could be the front. Either way, it works. And there we have a little card. And I think this measures, it's like three and a quarter by five. Yeah. So this will fit nicely in an A2 envelope. Or you can just give this to somebody. It's a really nice little gift. Now this will be the front of the card, and when they open it up, this will pop up with the gift card. But it's still loose, so what we're going to do, first we're going to decorate the two inside panels and the front, and then we're going to go inside and just put a piece of score tape right here. Just one piece is all it takes, and fold that over, and then that will hold that together. But what I've done for the front, I found this really cute coffee paper. I found it at the um, scrapbook store, and I don't know who made it. There was no name on it. But I kind of cut my pieces so that I could have, like, the coffee cup and the word coffee. There's a uh, coffee carafe, rather. And then the words Java and coffee. And I'm going to put this one on the front. So, then we got another piece that goes behind it. And you want to cut three of this solid color at two and three quarter inches by four and a half. And that's going to go right there. 
and then you want to cut three of your pattern paper at two and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and adhere these together and then we're going to take some of this really cool baker's twine and wrap around here. This comes from the Royal Castle Shop at the Scrapbooking Queen and I'll give you a link to that at the end of the video. I'll also give you uh, all the dimensions and all the supplies you used. It's always listed at the end of the video so if you want to make this too you can go right there, pause your computer and jot it down and you'll have it all. So I'm going to go ahead get all of these mats adhered together and then we'll come back and put this together real quick because I know you want to go see what else there is in this hop, don't you? Okay, I'm going to get it done real quickly. Okay, I went ahead and got my papers on the front, my two mats, and I wrapped some of that really pretty baker's twine around there and I went ahead and put them on the inside as well. Now I'll probably just cut a small piece of ivory colored cardstock and put down here for my sentiment but I thought it was really cute because you can see the little coffee cup and the carafe and the word coffee, cafe au lait, and the gift card's going to go right in here. Now we needed something else on the front so I just took two punches I stamped that little coffee cup that's on the brouhaha set and I used some memento rich cocoa ink and I inked around it with some Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink and this circle is an inch and a half then I took an inch and three quarter scallop punch out of this same brown and punched that out and put these together and then I stamped Javanice Day right there from the brouhaha set and I put it on a banner and just attached that on the back and I've got this on one thickness of foam tape and I'm going to add that right there I think that's really cute and then I'm going to take another piece of this baker's twine and put through here and just tie it in a little bow right there at the top okay I've got my bow all tied on the front and I just thought of something I wish that I had some coffee beans because I was thinking about you know maybe putting some buttons on here but wouldn't it have been cute to take a couple of coffee beans and put right up here on some glue dots oh wow that would have been cute but I don't have any <laughs> but if you guys make this get some coffee beans and put on there how cute would that be okay we're gonna open this up to the back and we're gonna get some score tape and we're just gonna put a piece right here it only takes one piece and we can tear this with our fingers and you want to put it close to the fold line you don't want to get it way up here because then your gift card won't fit so get it as close as you can to that fold line right there I don't think I cut that short enough let me snip that off we don't want it hanging over the edge do we okay now we're going to expose the adhesive and just bring this over close that down and now see it's all one piece and we're going to pop in our Starbucks gift card easier said than done <laughs> there we go I think that turned out really cute and there it is okay I know you want to get on to the other ladies in the hop but I just want to tell you real quickly I've given away two sets of Cards TV stamps for my blog candy all you have to do is leave me a comment and YouTube friends please go over to my blog Cards TV Dot blogspot dot com if you want to participate in the hop and get entered for the blog candy don't miss anybody guys are you going to be missing out on seeing some really really awesome creations plus I know a lot of the other design team ladies are having blog candy as well so I'm going to let you go now thanks so much for hopping with us today and I'll see you again soon bye now